first things I'm going to show you wind turbine. It's very windy today. It's about 25 mile an hour wind. That's very windy for here. That thing's just flying. Looks like it's going slow on camera, but I can't even see the blades. Wow, it's really deceiving looking on camera. Let's listen to it. Hopefully you can tell. That thing is just whipping. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how I got it hooked up here. I got the uh, the fan motor for a muddy, muddy, muddy man showed me how to do. And I got the wire coming out, the tail. I did the tail different because we don't get too much wind up here. Anyway, I got the wire coming across, and I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, not how it works, but how I got it hooked up anyway. Alright, well the wire comes down. Right there, you see it coming down from the roof. And then, uh, goes here. That's just cable wire, so... I'm going to zip tie it to that cable wire there, and it comes down, it's that thicker one, which is this one right here, it goes down, 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 and it goes under the siding there, and then it goes, I'm going to put it right through that window there, put a screen on it and cock it up real good, and I think that's going to be good, and then I'm going to have my power supply down there. And then that window right there is going to be um, a fan. I'm going to put a fan or a couple small fans in there. Um, it's got all the acid smell, if there's any down there. Keep it ventilated real good. Because you want to do that because that battery acid uh, uh, fumes can be to toxic. So depending on how many batteries you got, I'm going to have a, a 48 volt system. And i um, not sure how many... Uh, batteries I'm going to use just yet, but I'll let you know when that when the time arises. Alright, I'll take you inside and show you how I'm going to do it. Well, yeah, this is where uh, the inside now this is where it comes in. It's dark out now, but um, this is where it comes in, and then it goes to the battery supply here, and I'm going to have to get some batteries um, to put on the shelving unit here. But uh, I have another, this is a 750 watt converter, power converter. I got another one here. And I'm going to get two more um, and see how that does it. But I'm going to set a battery here, 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 maybe one more. Then batteries again on the second shelf. And then maybe on the third shelf, have it all filled up. Um, if not filled up close to it and then I'm going to hook the four uh, power converters up you know it's all going to be set in parallel so I'm only going to have uh, 12 volts um, the parallel system um, so that'll that'll do good um, and then what I'm going to do to get the power into the house well these are going to be hooked up to the battery up here and then the next one will be hooked uh, maybe down here on the third battery. Then the next one on the sixth battery. And the other one on the eighth or ninth battery. Then uh, over here, next to my... Um, uh, yeah, brain fart. But next to my panel here, I'm going to have um, switches, regular household switches here. And what's going to happen is um, I'm going to take a regular DC, regular, I'm sorry, AC plug, you pull what you plug in here, and then you put the plug in there, you cut the 
extension cord or if you want to use 12 gauge wire you could do that too uh, which I'm going to do um, run it into a switch box like this and so I could turn them off or on and then I'm going to take that come over here so I could turn them off or on and then I'm going to take the the white wire and the white wire is obviously going to go into the neutral side which would be over here actually then the ground is going to go on the ground side and then I'm going to take uh, the black which is the power wire I'm going to say say this one's for so we'll say this one's the bedroom um, I'm going to take the black wire and put it into here um, the hot wire so the neutral will be on the neutral side and then the ground um, will be on the ground side which is right there um, and then this way when I want to use solar I can turn my switch to the uh, well first thing you gotta do is make sure you gotta shut this off first so this kills the power you don't want to double feed that's just gonna blow everything up and give you problems so you just want to shut this one off and then you're gonna have your switch here for that one and of course label everything and then you're gonna switch the switch to the on position so this is gonna power this circuit anyhow um, and you do that for the other ones that you want what other circuits you want to run but anyhow um, that's pretty much it that's what we're gonna do so the only thing we need now is to get some um, outlet um, some switches and some I already have the boxes so and you put them the easiest way is to screw them right into the mortar line and I'll show you how I'll do all that when uh, the time comes um, but I have another battery here they're not deep cycle but this is for testing purposes right now anyways so it's gonna do just fine for um, for starting out